Okay, so yesterday I walk into this donut shop, right? In the morning and I walk in, I see there's a guy in front of me and I'm not kidding, he has a parrot on his shoulder. And I'm like, dang, did I just come across a modern day pirate? And then I started getting a little worried. I was like, oh man, I hope he doesn't try to steal all the donuts in the shop because man, I'm on my donuts. And I was just like, okay, what is going on here? And so I'm just like, just chilling, waiting. You know, he's ordering, he's getting, you know, whatever he's gonna order. He, he asked for donut holes. They give him the donut holes. Then he's like, how much for donut holes? And they're like, 155. And he's like, <laughs> he starts shaking his head. And but I can't remember if it was before that or after that. I was like, how you doing, sir? And he's like, I'm doing good. How you doing? And then all of a sudden, the 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 bird, no lie, was like, bah, bah. and he's like, the guy turns and looks at it and says, what, what? Like he's having a conversation with the bird. And so here's the thing. I told this story to my wife and she's like, well, you know, nowadays, sometimes people have emotional support animals that they take with them. And I'm like, what? Come on, man. You know, it's actually, it started, I started thinking more about it. It's like, if you run a business nowadays, you, it's almost at a point where you can't even say, oh, sorry, sir, you're gonna have to need to leave your pet. You know, you're gonna have to leave your pet outside. You're gonna have to leave the bird in the car. You know, it's like, no, man, because I, it's my right. It's my right to have my emotional support animal. And I don't even know if it was an emotional support animal. And I hope, honestly, I didn't offend anybody that uses an emotional support animal. Anyways, I just thought it was kind of crazy. I wasn't expecting it. For a second, I was like, is that a fake bird? And then I was like, if it's a fake bird, would that be worse or better? You know, I don't know. Anyways, but that bird was staring at me, man. I got back into my car, right? I finally got my donuts and I, I get in my car. I start tearing up one of those donuts, right, in my car. And I look up and the guy's just staring at me. And I'm like, bro, I didn't do anything to you and your bird, you know? Let me eat my donuts in peace. Anyways, I just wanted to share that quick story with you. All right, back to the, the issue at hand. Okay, the last store I went to was a Barnes & Noble's. That was store number four. No luck, man. No luck. But when I walked in there, I was getting pumped up because <clears throat> I was getting pumped up because I saw a couple things on the shelf behind the counter. And then I walked up closer and I saw the big white Excel box. And I'm like, oh, ho, ho, baby. I go up and I ask them. They're like, all we have is hockey. And I'm like, uh, okay. And I saw the box and it was empty. But anyways... So after that, I was like, okay, fine. I'm going to check out this other store, check out a little CVS, see what happens. So let me show you guys what I got. Store number five. I'm going to go ahead and switch. Yeah. Bam! Got some Chronicles NFL, seven packs of those. I got this Prism draft picks. And I have never bought a Funko Pop, but I saw this on the shelf. And it's a, it's a Black Panther, you know. So I was like, you know what? Let me just see. <clears throat> Let me just see. How much does that go for? She said it was like only going for 12 bucks. So I was like, all right. Let me get it. So that's what I got. That's what I got. Let me know what you guys think about this. And I got that prism. Can't forget about that guy. Yeah, baby. C-Dub is back. And I'm out.